Good night. We are on Wednesday, the 30th of November, 2022. Happy birthday to my one of my granddaughters. Your birthday today, Yasmin. One day we'll meet you, born in 1999. We've never met. Hopefully we will one day. I hope you're going to be happy and blessed in your life. God bless you. So now I'm going to share with you daily meditations with Saint Augustine for today's date and um, I'll begin with one or two prayers in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen O oh my God I am sorry for all my sins because they offend you who are so good angel of God my guardian dear to whom God's love commits me here Ever this night be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Jesus' prayer, the prayer of the heart. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. The meditation for St. Andrew's feast day, uh, St. Augustine's words and title is interesting. It says, pray for the fulfillment of justice. We should not be praying for worldly things to come and go and vanish like the smoke. What we should be praying for is the fulfillment of justice and the hallowing of God's name, not forgetting the better of the lust and the greed inside, not for the feeling of the flesh, but for the taming of avarice. That is what our prayers should be about helping us in our inner struggles till they crown us in our final victory. The prayer. Let us persevere in longing until the promise comes true and sighing is a thing of the past and unalloyed rejoicing takes its place. Amen. So I'm going to share the evening prayers for Wednesday in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Evening praise for the light. O joyful light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the sun's hour of rest, the lights of evening round us shine. We praise the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Worthy are you, O Lord, at all times to be praised with undefiled tongue. O Son of God, O giver of life, therefore you are glorified throughout the universe. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. A reading from Psalm 137. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of angels, I will bless you. I will adore before your holy temple. I thank you for your faithfulness and love, which excel all we ever knew of you. On the day I called, you answered. You increase the strength of my soul. All the rulers on earth shall thank you. When they hear the words of your mouth, they shall sing of the Lord's ways. How great is the glory of the Lord. The Lord is high, yet he looks on the lowly, and the haughty he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of affliction, you give me life and frustrate my foes. You stretch out your hands and save me. 
your hand will do all things for me. Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The scripture reading is from 1 Corinthians 9 verse 2. Do you not know that in a race the runners all compete, but only one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may win it. Now pause for a moment, prayer, silence and prayer. Mary had every right to rejoice in Jesus, for in one and the same person he would truly be her son and saviour, the words of St. Bede. Now the Canticle of Mary, the Magnificat, Luke 1, 46-55. Of course, we do pray this a lot during um, Advent. This is the first week of Advent. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, for he has looked with favour on his lowly servant, and from this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and has sent the rich away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Invocations Lord, remember all who live the Christian life. Show them the light of your face upon all who serve you in the ministry. Give them the strength of your Holy Spirit. Fill the hearts of your people with joy and peace and answer all their needs. And together we pray the Lord's Prayer. First in English and then in Latin. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Pater nostra qui es in caelis, sanctificatur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua sicut in caelo et in terra, panem nostrum quotidanum, danobis odi, et demite nobis debita nostra, Sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostri, et nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. The Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now 
and at the hour of our death. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena, Dominus tecum benedicta tu, in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventri tuae Jesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis captatoribus nunc, in et ora mortis nostrae. Amen. Thank you so much for, oh, I have not gone back to the finish, nearly forgot. The concluding prayer. It is for you that we live, Lord our God, and to you we have consecrated this day. Perfect and purify our offering, so that our prayer of thanksgiving may rise to you. In Jesus, your Son, our Lord. Amen. The blessing. May God light the fire of his love in our hearts. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. And may the saint of the day pray for us. Amen. I know it's Saint Andrew, but he's a first century patron of Scotland as well. And tomorrow, the first, it's St. Eliagus, France, patron of veterinarians. Thank you so much for listening. May God bless you and heal you. I'm sending you his peace in abundance. And may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And God bless the rest of your evening. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for your comments. Continue to pray for all of you. God bless. <laughs>